So Pokemon Sword is getting Surfetch and Pokemon Shield is getting Galarian Ponyta. What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and today we're going to talk about this brand new Galarian Ponyta trailer that just got revealed. And yes, I know what you're probably saying is like, wait, 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 aren't you supposed to do a trailer reaction review? I, I was, but then the trailer is literally 25 seconds. I put it at the front of this video so you guys can check it out. And it's probably playing in the background of this video as I talk, but I couldn't justify myself shooting a trailer reaction review to a 25 second trailer and then grading it. It kind of was redundant. So I was like, nah, let's just jump straight into it. And my thoughts of Galarian Ponyta being, first off, being Virgin exclusive, that is huge because one, we know that for a while that Surfetch was going to be exclusive to Sword. And I always was saying they had to bring out the big guns. Something had to be huge for Pokemon Shield because Surfetch is a huge deal a uh, evolution or you know a galarian version of farfetch whatever you want to categorize it as to me is huge for pokemon shield to have that exclusively so for pokemon shield to have a galarian ponyta again it's just as huge what i'm worrying about is that we haven't seen farfetch we don't know if farfetch gets a galarian version in the game i doubt it i think it's just going to be regular farfetch which, which evolves into surfetch which is strange because they haven't shown us that for whatever reason but then we come to galarian ponyta and in the galarian ponyta 24 hour live stream we seen a version of Galarian Ponyta without a tail, with a tail. They didn't explain that. We don't know if that's version differences or if that's gender difference. We don't know what was going on there. Also, we heard Rapidash inside of the 24 hour live stream in this trailer. We didn't get any Rapidash footage. So whatever Rapidash or, or whatever Galarian Ponyta evolves into, obviously it being Rapidash, we don't have a clue to what that looks like. It being the final evolution of Ponyta. Now, what I can say is that we do quote unquote kind of have the final evolution of Surfetch. So it's weird not having the counterpart for Pokemon Shield. Obviously, they're saving that for the big blowout. I think it's going to look amazing. Obviously, it probably being what everyone's rumor is speculating, it being this big Pegasus looking dog, you know what I'm saying, with a unicorn and being cotton candy colored. It's going to look amazing. It's going to look dope. But the fact that they're saving it is very cool. I think they probably want us to experience that in the game or, again, it's going to probably be shown off at a launch trailer or a different trailer at a different time. We're running out of time. The, the games are out in a couple of weeks, so we are running out of time. Let's jump into the official rundown of Galarian Ponyta. Coming from the official Pokemon website, I'm going to have a link to this website in the description below just in case you want to jump into yourself. It says Galarian Ponyta. Galarian Ponyta will make its appearance at Pokemon Shield. The category for this Pokemon is a unique horn Pokemon. Now, that's switching from a fire horse, I, I believe it was called. In in previous games and now it is a unique horn pokemon it's not weird that they change in the category of the ponyta obviously with the type change and with it's looking different and obviously it's not a fire horse but the fact that it's a unique horn brings it more into that unicorn type of pokemon and i love that they leaning into that the type of pokemon is psychic not fairy now everybody everybody thought that this was going to be a fairy type ponyta you cannot lie during the 24-hour live stream when we see ponyta running across the screen i thought it maybe could be ghost but again once i seen it light up i was like oh that is fairy 100 percent Today, we got the news that it is a psychic. And I was like, whoa, psychic? That is insane. The move pool for psychic Ponyta might be insane. I can't wait to see exactly what Ponyta is gonna be hitting with as far as the move set is gonna bring to the table. It sounds exciting. I can't wait. I, I, I'm i excited. I Again, Pokemon Shield is kind of looking more good right now, even though I am going to be playing through Sword first. Now, we got its height, its weight, but let's jump to its ability, which is Runaway and Pastel Val. And it says 
A change brought about the life energy of the forest. Galarian Ponyta has been found in a certain forest of the Galar region since ancient times. It's said that they were exposed to the overflowing life energy of the forest over many generations. And this is why their appearance became unique in this region. A little bit of lore. And it says, behold, it's glistening mane. Now, this is something that we've seen in a 24-hour live stream. It says Galarian Ponyta can absorb the life energy of the surrounding atmosphere and store it in its mane. It seems that Ponyta's mane will become more colorful and even emit a sparkling glow if there is a lot of energy around. Of course, that is exactly what we've seen and the 24 hour live stream that's something that we've seen in the art it looks so beautiful just standing there inside of this in-game image and it does look beautiful in the trailer as well it says galarian ponyta has the ability pastel veil galarian ponyta ability pastel veil is a new ability introduced in these titles so again it's not going to be exclusive to galarian ponyta but it's a brand new ability it says this ability prevents the pokemon in its its allies from becoming poison. It can even cure the poisonous status conditions of its ally when the Pokemon enters the battlefield. Oh my god, this is gonna be such clutch. Anybody using a toxic stall team, you could just throw out a Ponyta. Granted, you gotta have the Ponyta in your team already, but you throw out Ponyta and that's gone. The poison will cure any Pokemon that is already poisoned and if someone tries to use a poison attack, that's not going to go down, not with Ponyta on the team. And that is, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, say what you want. That is a way to kind of introduce a good ability and, and to make Ponyta kind of valuable and competitive because you do want that way competitive when you're constructing a team to, to counter toxic Pokemon. If someone is known for using toxic stalls or something like that, or is known to use poison by any means, you got that Galarian Ponyta, you know you can get rid of it. That is pretty cool. Again, no word on Rapidash and what that is going to be in game, how that's going to feel competitively, if that's going to get a new ability or whatever. No word on that. So we're going to have to just wait because I think that's going to be the big guns. I think that's what everyone is going to bring is that Galarian Rapidash. But again, no word on Rapidash, just Galarian Ponyta, which to me, again this is fucking dope let me know in the comment section below what you think of Galarian Ponyta are you Pokemon Shield now that it's exclusive to Pokemon Shield and if you are gonna get Pokemon Shield because of this let me know in the comments so we could trade I would a hundred percent get Pokemon Sword trade you a Farfetch or trade you a Surfetch so I can get myself a Galarian Ponyta. Let me know your thoughts on the brand new ability that was also revealed, the Pastel Val. Do you think it's gonna be competitively viable? As you guys know, I'm a filthy casual when it comes to competitive Pokemon battling, but I love it. I do try to participate on every competition or every online competition any way that I can. So let me know what you think about Galarian Ponyta competitively from just that ability. And as you guys know, I answer all comments, so I will see you guys down there in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over to recommended so other people can enjoy the video as well. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, probably a Pokemon video, usually every time we get news anyway. And then I do a variety of other stuff, but Pokemon is the main driving force of this channel. If you haven't noticed by my icon or my banner, this is quote unquote kind of a Pokemon channel. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield news update video. Like always guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.